Hey guys, and welcome back to Prison Architect episode 11. Now, we are here in the wake of a bit of a riot. There was a bit of a kerfuffle that happened in the canteen, as you can see from the broken trays here. 85% damaged food trays. Oh, we'll have to get those. Uh, let's see. We'll take them to the dump, I think. Yeah. Take those to the dump, get some new ones put in place. Now, the game is paused at the moment because we need to take stock of the area, take stock of our prison, take a step back, and just look at what we need to change. Now, uh, one of the cheeky things about this version of Prison Architect is that we can set an area as workshop. And uh, let's see, rooms. Workshop. Now, what we can do is, this is, this is really cheeky, but what you do is you drag a big square. Oh, my God, the lag. Oh! But yeah, the, <laughs> the, the bigger I drag that, the more it lags. But basically, yeah, you can set the entire area outside of your prison as workshop. And because each square of workshop gives you money per day, we'll find ourselves, if we drag a big square of workshop outside the prison, that we'll get like about 10, 20, 30, maybe $50,000 per day just because we've got a large area of workshop. However, I do think it's a bit cheaty. So what I'm going to do is... Uh, oop, placed a bit there. I'm not going to do that because that's the easy way out, and uh, we're not we're not cheaty wardens, no sorry, Bob. There we go. We're going to do this legit. So let's take a look at our prison now. The first thing to do, I think, is to get medical attention to those who need it. So we've got a workman here. Who now? How do we get the workman to be uninjured? I don't know. Got the doctors there. Maybe we need to unpause it. So let's unpause it quick. Play. Okay. Workman. Well, we could sack him and then hire another one, but that's just inefficient. Maybe the doctor will come out of her own accord and yeah. Oh, look, she's coming over this way. So maybe she's gonna. Yeah, or maybe she's gonna. What are you doing? What are you doing? Maybe she's gonna. Yeah. She's definitely coming towards this worker and she's definitely gonna fix him up. This guard is also reporting to the medical ward because we need guards in the medical ward to make sure that people don't start fights with the syringes and stuff. Now, another thing you guys mentioned is that we need metal detectors. Especially on the canteen doors so that our prisoners don't try and sneak out with the uh, with the knives and forks that we give them to have their lunch on. So, uh, let's pause quick. Take a look. What are we looking for? A metal detector. Now, I can probably press play, actually. Because the game isn't moving too quick. Now, where's metal detectors? Do, do, do. Quite difficult. To... Oh, there it is. There's a metal detector. Okay, great. So where are we going to place this? Uh, I guess if we put one there and there. They'll have to go through a metal detector before they leave the canteen. And if we place one there and there, they have to go through one before they go back to their cell. Which is perfect. So no one will be smuggling any kind of weaponry into their cell. Now, another thing you guys mentioned is that the doors are set to staff only currently, and that's a no-no. Because that will cause the prisoners to be stuck in their cells and unable to leave. So if we put the door to everyone, and we just repeat that on all the doors, we'll find that our prisoners are able to leave their cells. And, oh, where's the last? Now, there's, there's the jail door. The prisoners are able to leave their cells so they don't get stuck inside their little cramped quarters. Which, you know, we had a bit of a riot last episode and that's what we want to try and avoid. So what we're doing is going through and just making our prisoners' lives as comfortable as possible. It's a bit of a slap in the face because these guys are here to, to do hard time. You know, they, they committed a crime. So they're here to not only be rehabilitated but be punished as well. So it's a bit of a slap in the face that we have to treat them like royalty while they're here, but so be it. We'll open the gates for these guys so they can get out of their cells and they're not trapped. There we go. That's... Is that all the... Nope, not quite. Oh, game froze a bit while it auto-saves. Everyone. How many jail doors have we got left to go? Not too many. I'm starting to think that we started too big. We should have perhaps started our prison with just a few cells so that we could slowly improve and increase the amount of cells and prisoners we get. 
but as it stands, I think we got like six or seven buses of prisoners at one time, and that's a bit chaotic. Right, so the shower also is another area that needs our attention. Since without grates in the floor, one for each. Oh, where's this going? Drain. One, one for each shower head. The shower will quickly flood, and uh, and well, yeah, that's just, that's just an awful situation. With the showers broken and flooded, our prisoners will get pissed off. They'll slip up on the slippy tiles, break their hips, and then they'll start a riot, probably by punching each other. I don't know. Prisoners are crazy. So we need to fix the shower to make sure that uh, if anybody wishes to indulge in a bumming adventure, they're more than welcome to inside our shower, as long as they don't block up the drains uh, with any kind of sticky kind of sludge or knives that they've stolen from the kitchen, which they can't do anymore because we've got a metal detector. What do you think about that, Pierre, and your three cronies? Oh, monsieur is so intelligent. You have put metal detectors inside the, uh, the prison and uh, that will stop the prisoners from, from stealing my... Oh, look, look, you see this. Who's this guy? This cat Walada. Oh, he is eyeing up my fork. He is eyeing up my fork. He will steal my fork. And he will he will shank another prisoner with it. And then he will steal a cabbage. And no doubt put a bomb in it. Oh, that's what prisoners do, yes. Okay, yes, yeah, so Pierre is feeling much Oh! Oh what's what the hell? Has this guy got a spatula? Hang on a hang on a sec. Let's click on him. He's What what job queued? Oh right, we've got Drain selected, okay. Let's come out of objects. Cancel that. Oh, can we cancel it? I think so. Needs, sleep, family, and recreation. Well, you're not getting your family because you're in jail. But maybe we can get guards to come over here. And, uh, yeah, search the prisoner, please. There we go. And we'll get that spatula off him. So, ah, oh, because I can imagine it. He goes back to his cell with his cellmate, Bubba. Bubba's just there, innocent, all reading a magazine. And then, uh, what's his name? What is his name, anyway? Let's, I've got to look out for this one. He's a troublemaker. This Gilmore guy will whip out his spatula and just start slapping him. Slapping Bubba across the face. Holy crap, look at all the blood. Oh my god, it's chaos in the medical ward. And uh, uh, it doesn't help that we've got like five guards in there. I don't think we need those. Let's get a couple of those into the canteen. Because that's a hot spot for prison, prison riot activity. We're going to need janitors as well, so we're going to have to look at the bureaucracy menu in a minute and see where we are in terms of uh, progress on the... Ooh, we're missing... Uh, oh, I think the cracks have caused uh, some of the blocks to fade. So we'll go into materials, I think it is. Paving stone. Plonk down a couple of those. A few of those. There we go. And, uh, and there you go. Hey, presto. That should fix those up lickety-split. Now, what else is going on in the prison? Let's press go and deal with things as they happen. Now, this guy here is pretty injured too. So we'll need to send him to the medical bay ASAP. So we'll search him. And then, uh, I don't know, do we get a doctor to come and visit him? Let's see. I don't know. We can't give him medical attention, it seems. So we have to wait for him to go by himself to... Or maybe we can just send the doctor to him. Let's get the doctor. And, uh, oh yeah, she's got the medic. She's got a syringe out. And she's going towards the prisoner. Excellent. Good job, Betty. Now, who else? Who else is in need of medical attention? Let's take a look around. You know, I think that might be it. I think everybody has been taken care of, almost. And yeah. Things. Oh, 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 the metal detectors need power. Okay, it's time to pause. We go into utilities, let's see. Get some electrical cable and hook up these metal detectors. Oh, that's a really horrible screeching sound. We'll hook these metal detectors up to the power cables down here. There we go. Hey, presto. Fantastic. Now, incident reports. Okay, next step is to build solitary confinement because two prisoners are awaiting solitary confinement. Now, these must be the guys, the particularly hardened criminals, that started the riot. So these, these, these are serious business, these guys down here. So we're going to have to build some cells for these guys to, to live in. 
and be punished. Oh, oh my god. What's going on down here? Almond, this this nutty this nutty prisoner has just broken his bed in, in fury. Oh, and these must be the four that need uh, need medical attention. Okay. Well, they will get their attention as soon as possible, but what we need first, I think, is foundations for what will become our solitary confinement chamber. We're going to put it over the workshop instead, I think. So there we go. And it will require an entrance. So first up, let's look at rooms and look at solitary confinement. And what does the room require to be solitary confinement? It doesn't say anything. Holding cell requires all this stuff. A cell requires all this stuff. Solitary confinement, well, it's punishment. So it basically just needs to be a box. So that's all we're going to do. We're going to create... Oh, I think... Hmm, how many solitary confinements do you think we should have? Um, I think what we'll do is we'll have the entrance to this come from... Let's see. Objects, jail door. Now we'll put the door... Where are we going to plunk the door? We'll wait for them to build it first, I think. And then objects... Oh, no, 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 no! Stop, 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 stop! Stop, stop! Holy shit! Oh, my God. Almond, Almond here, this nutty bearded guy, has wrecked his bed. He's got handcuffs on, and he is still punching our guard, Jeff. Oh, my God. And the doctor, well, she's just not interested. She's not going to deal with this particularly... Uh-oh. He's got a spoon. Search him. Can you search him? Yeah, search that joker. In fact, let's do a quick scan of the prisoners and make sure none of these guys are holding anything that could be used as a weapon. No spatulas, no spoons, no rubber chickens. Okay. So we'll press play and we need to get solitary confinement up in this mother ASAP. And I think we're going to get some of these guards up here. Whoops. Going to get some of these guards up here to report down to here and uh, guard these prisoners that are down there. We don't need all those in the medical ward, so we'll send a couple over here. Just because these are the real troublemakers, I think, and the two that are awaiting solitary confinement are probably down here. Uh-oh, what's this guy doing? Where's he going? Where's he going? Oh, it's, uh, it's lunchtime. And they're going through the metal detectors. Great. Oh, what? Oh, no! Got a blackout! Why is there a blackout? What's going on? I think we must need a new transformer on the on the uh, on the old power station. Let's take a look. Utilities, yeah. What's with the red? What's with the red? Uh, yeah. I don't get it. There's no power going to anywhere in the prison. So let's take a look. That's the water pump station. This is the power station, and oh, there's a red lightning bolt next to it. I think that means it's out of power. So we're gonna have to add. A couple of capacitors here, I think. Just gonna put a few in. Because we've got the cash to splash. And we've got cables to lay underneath it. So we'll put those in too. And this should hook us up to the mains. Okay. And one more capacitor there. And there we go. Wow. That's one, two, three, four, five thousand dollars worth of capacitors. So hopefully, hopefully that's enough. But oh my god, it's lunchtime and the metal detectors do not work. The cookers don't work. The fridges don't work. Oh my god, I hope the prisoners don't write over this because, ooh. Well, let's take a look at, ooh, what's this? Deployments and clone are locked by bureaucracy. So we'll have to go into bureaucracy in a minute and see what we're doing there. But beforehand, we need to make sure that our prison is secure. That's priority number one because we can't have any more riots. If I have any more staff getting shanked, I'm just not going to get insurance next year. And I'm probably going to get fired because I'm a useless prison architect.